everybody, I'm Adriana and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be chatting with you guys today because it is Christmas first. It is December 1st. It is the first day of Christmas and we're going to talk about Christmas presents because of course, why not? Um, with it being the first day of Christmas, I figured we would go ahead and kick off December with a what I want for Christmas slash gift ideas video. Um, Y'all really like this last year. I love watching these because they definitely help inspire me on what to put on that list. Um, obviously it is such a blessing that people want to give you things during the Christmas season um, and to be able to give people things. And so I hope that this helps you guys figuring out what to ask for and what to gift. Um, and if not, what to buy yourself because I definitely would be doing that for myself as well and I probably will do that anyways. <laughs> so um, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm really excited um, and I feel like you guys will probably like a lot of the things I like because we're all pals around here. So. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let me preface before we start this video, I'm gonna split it kind of into two parts. So the first section is gonna be what I want for Christmas and what I'm asking for, what's on my Christmas list. And then the second section is gonna be gift ideas, meaning these are things that I probably would want if I did not already have them. <laughs> so um, the second part is gonna be more so, like I think you guys would really like these things. I already own them, but I think you guys would really like them. So I'll definitely let you guys know when I'm transitioning into that second part. But let's go ahead and get into it. So what I want for Christmas, number one is, I'm actually gonna scooch over so I can put pictures in here so you guys can see and get excited with me. And I'll move my Christmas tree over so we can feel festive together. Okay, um, number one is the Watch Me Grow t-shirt from the Kristen Made collection. If you guys do not know who Kristen Johns is, I absolutely adore her. She's another YouTuber here on YouTube. Um, she's just adorable and she's cute. She has a super cute um, shop called Kristen Made where she sells the cutest merchandise. And one of them being, I'm pretty sure this was the first thing she ever sold in her um, online shop, was her Watch Me Grow tea. And it has like a little plant and it says Watch Me Grow. When I told my mom I wanted this, she's like, is it like, is it for like pregnant people? And I'm like, no ma'am. However, it looks adorable whenever I see anybody who is pregnant wear it. It's just a cute shirt with a plant on it and I really want it. I, it's been out for a long time. I have yet to buy it for myself so I figure I might as well ask for it for Christmas. Number two thing that I really want is the Hosanna Revival Bible. I'm pretty sure the one that I want is the Yorkshire one, meaning it is a leather bound, um, vegan leather bound Bible. Um, and it has gold, like a gold floral thing on the front and then gold flooring on the binding on the side. They sell the cutest Bibles, merchandise, um, and I have something else in one of the gift ideas later than this from Hosanna Revival. I really absolutely adore them. I had the hardest time picking between the leather bound one and then this one which is like a lavender color and I'm not typically a lavender girl or a purple girl at all but I loved this um but I ended up wanting the leather one because I feel like it'll last longer it's a little bit more classic but absolutely love their bibles and I could not suggest you enough to go get one the next thing on my Christmas list, as y'all know, I'm engaged, we get married, we have an apartment to furnish, and while I tried to not put things for the apartment on my Christmas list, this is one thing that I was like, you know what, I want this. <laughs> I want this even more for myself than for the apartment. And it is this gold floral wall decor from Target. I've seen it a couple times, I've seen it online, and I just, I'm in love with it. And I feel like it would look really cute in the apartment and it'll look cute even in my room right now. Um, so I really want it and put it on my Christmas list. And I'm telling you guys about it because it's so cute but I feel like you guys need to do. The next thing on my list, and another thing you guys know about me is I'm a big planner gal and I stand firm behind, 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 behind my happy planner. Planner. I have one. I use and abuse it. I've used and abused a happy planner for the last couple of years. I have sticker books galore. Very upset that I never thought to buy like a wedding happy planner sticker book like months ago when I got engaged. So if you're engaged and you like planning, go get yourself a wedding sticker book because I feel like you need it. I think I needed it but I'm only going to be engaged for like two more months, so it doesn't make sense anymore. But I want this happy planner. It's the one that says yay. It's a seasonal planner, meaning that it's not, um, they have a bunch of different types of planners. I'm very specific on the kind of layout that I like. Thankfully, you can choose that from the Happy Planner, but they also have like different art styles. And this one is their seasonal one. And I always prefer the seasonal one because then each month um, is themed and designed towards the season rather than like an overarching design style. And so I really like the seasonal one. I love that it says yay and it's super colorful and fun. So I want that one. The next thing that I want, I actually saw from Allison Bickerstaff's video, I don't actually know what video it was, but she was showing this really cute 
puzzle of the United States but each state was covered in their state flower and it's like this massive floral puzzle and I'm like how have I not done a puzzle at all this year I feel like puzzles were the thing and I just didn't do it so I feel like I need a puzzle and I also want one because we're gonna have board games and stuff at our apartment because we really Robert absolutely loves board games and I really want to host friends and have fun things like that um and I feel like a puzzle should be part of that and what better than this super cute one so that is on my Christmas list the next thing on my list is something that I think even you guys would really love um and it is the free people movement top mind you I have refused to buy this for myself because I'm just very cheap <laughs> um and it's just fact of life i am just very cheap especially when it comes to like things that i don't necessarily need but i really want this and i love the free people movement tops they're basically tops that also kind of double as like a sports bra um they just help keep everything in place but they're also really cute to pair with leggings and that um and they have a bunch of really cute different colors the next thing on my list is a picnic blanket one thing that i love about um one of the things that i love that has come out in this year is picnics and meeting with friends outside and i have definitely had more picnic dates this year with friends than i ever have in my entire life and i don't want it to stop and so i want a cutie picnic blanket that i can eat under the trees outside or meet a friend with at a park and eat on and I want a cute one <laughs> so I am in the on the hunt for a cute picnic blanket and I feel like I need one because I love picnics I love being outside I love the sunshine especially in the good weather especially like the weather coming up in Florida it's about to be prime time I'm not gonna sweat a million bullets <laughs> so I'm looking forward to getting a picnic blanket so I can eat outside more next up on the list is carry-on luggage mind you I have this really nifty um, carry-on bag which I'll actually plug in here so that you guys can see it this is gonna be like an early gift idea for you guys um, it is this carry-on bag but it is more of like a tote slash duffel type bag and it is the exact dimensions of a carry-on bag that you can take it to the airport with you like the exact dimensions of the little measuring thing I'll put a picture of that here too um, where they like make sure your bag can fit it's the exact dimensions you can stuff that sucker and take it on with you and they won't charge you for it um, now if they charge you for it don't come don't come for me I'm sorry but they're not supposed to charge you for that bag and so I absolutely love it I have it in pink but I would like a luggage because I don't have a luggage of my own I've always used like family luggages and I'm getting married and I'm going on a honeymoon so I feel like I should have a luggage and so that's something that I would like for Christmas next up on my list is house slippers I have a pair that I have used for the past like two years or so but they definitely need an upgrade they got some holes in them now and I would love some that have like a hard bottom um just so that it's easier to clean and so I can throw in the wash but also like wipe it down and not have to throw in the wash all the time so house slippers are definitely on my list probably not at first I thought I wanted the ones that all the influencers have that look super fuzzy and cute but I feel like the fuzziness is gonna die out the more I throw in the wash and I throw those things in the wash all the time so I haven't exactly found the perfect pair that I want just yet but when I do I will either stick it in here or put it in the description down below so you all know which one I end up choosing but I definitely want a new pair of house slippers next thing is a massive wall calendar I have one right now that I can plug a picture in right here and I use it religiously I use it all throughout college I use it on my Disney college program I use it even now um, at home and I want a huge one for when Robert and I get married um, just because one I love a month at a glance but I would much rather have a year at a glance especially since I'm booking photography clients and I have website projects and I have all of these different projects going on that I would like a massive calendar so that I can see way out into the future um also because dear sweet Robert <laughs> is not the best at um remembering things and communicating them to me and so with being newlyweds i'm trying to save us from a couple of unfun conversations now <laughs> and if we have a massive calendar then he can just write it on there and i will always know where we have to be and what's going on before a couple days so i think that'll be really helpful um but i just really want like a really big one that has the month for the whole year like every month out of the year on this massive calendar where i can write in a nice dry erase marker and um rewrite and rewrite again and clean it up and just see everything at once and like a pretty one that can also be almost like a piece of decor for our apartment or a future home wherever it may be but 
I definitely want a massive wall calendar. Um, and if you guys don't have one of those already, put that on the gift ideas list because y'all, it's such a lifesaver. It's one thing to have a planner and see like what you need to do every day, but it's one thing to see a like the whole month at one time and like always have an idea of what's coming up and what's ahead and like what your commitments are, where you need to be physically, what you need to have on the brain. It's just it's so helpful. And if you're like super type A like me, it'll it'll change your life. Next thing is some Chelsea boots. I have a black pair and I have a um, nude suede pair, but I walk on my heels a lot, which I never realized that I did until recently. And I like scuffed up the heel so much that like it just looks trash. It's terrible. So I needed a new pair of nude suede um, Chelsea boots because I wear them so much in the winter time. Winter time. I live in Florida, but. I really love them. I think they're so cute with a bunch of different outfits and they also really help me just transition some of my more springy outfits into the colder months by being able to wear some boots with them. So I definitely want a nude suede pair of Chelsea boots. The next thing that is on my gift list and this is the last thing on my what I want list but also a gift idea for you guys. Um, and I hope y'all aren't like weird about it, but if y'all are one, if you are a lady who likes to make sure her lady parts are uh, in check and groomed, <laughs> I absolutely love this shaver here. Um, I've had it for years. Mine is now broken and I need a new one. Um, so that's more of like a for mom to buy kind of a thing or I'll just buy it for myself. But I figured I'd go ahead and throw it on here because at first I was like, I'm not gonna put that on there. And then I was like, no, I need to tell them about how amazing this machine is. Y'all, I have friends who are still using razors and long gone are those days. Don't, don't hurt yourself, just buy one of these save your life, save your lady parts, and if you're one who likes to do that, then like, take care of yourself with this machine here. Say no to razors, goodbye. <laughs> um, but, but seriously, like it's a lifesaver, I love it. Um, I was a cheerleader and a swimmer in high school, so I started taking care of that young, um, and this thing has just saved me. It's a saving grace, so I need a new one for Christmas. And I hope you guys ask for one too because it'll save your life. <laughs> now on to gift ideas. So the first gift idea I have is the Hosanna Revival five-year journal. They have this journal that is exactly what it says. Um, it is a beautiful journal on the outside and on the inside but it basically has a section for every day of the year and it has a portion for you to journal in there and then every year for the next five years you will come back to that page and journal in there in the next little entry portion and you can just kind of see how your life has changed over five years and I think that's really cool so that is a gift idea for you guys um, the next thing are these reusable makeup remover wipes y'all these are the best thing I've invested in this year probably these um, this is a pack that I have right here and they come in a little bag and I use coconut oil on mine and this makeup remover solution I put some of that on there with some coconut oil and one pad takes off my entire face of makeup um and basically what I do is I'll just like rinse it out and throw it in a in a little bowl that I have next to my sink and when I've used all of them I'll throw them back in the bag throw them into the washing machine and then they're fresh again I'm reducing my waste and I don't have to keep buying makeup remover wipes they have been so good to me I've absolutely loved them I cannot recommend them enough to you the next couple things on the gift ideas list are some devotionals um, and these are some that I've talked to uh, talked about a bunch on my channel but I figured I'd go ahead and talk about them here is the new morning mercies devotional it's an amazing daily devotional uh, by Paul David Tripp the next one is the seamless devotional which is another amazing devotional that helps take you through the Bible and helps connect it as one big story it's really great just especially if you're new to the Bible it's great um, and then the next thing is the meaning of marriage which is an awesome book that I think is great for people who are single dating engaged or even married I could not recommend it enough Robert and I are reading it and we're having our officiant read it it is so so good if you're single I cannot recommend it to you enough just to manage your expectations and um, just to help you in your dating life as you are finding a partner. But Meaning of Marriage, such a good book. Next thing is a hand frother, which I'm sure you guys have seen on TikTok a million times, especially with the whole whipped coffee for, um, craze early this year. But this thing is just so good. It, look, it makes you feel like you have fancy 
fancy coffee every single day and I personally love it I love to froth my creamer before I put it into my coffee I just think it's really cool I think it's really fun and uh, it's super helpful to have in the kitchen so you don't have to whip out a whole whisk and like a little beater so hand frother is a super cool thing just to have and use especially if you're someone who is a big coffee drinker next thing is a hand steamer and y'all I cannot recommend this enough to you guys I recently got one of these because I needed it to steam stuff for my dad's wedding and then for my mom's wedding just all the weddings you need a steamer you just do but what's also great about having a steamer is not only is it so much easier than having an iron even if you have an iron I promise you're gonna want a steamer because you don't have to whip out an ironing board you you can burn yourself with a steamer I'm not gonna say that you can't because I have I've nearly done so multiple times but it is far less likely than with a actual like iron but also what's great about it is that it also helps disinfect a lot of things especially right now where we're really trying to make sure we are disinfecting our stuff and ultra germ conscious um it's super helpful it gets so hot that steam is so hot that it literally kills germs as you're steaming things so if you buy new clothes if you are somebody who enjoys thrifting steam your stuff if you go to a hotel room and you are not confident that those sheets are clean steam those suckers um and I know that when I was trying on dresses at David's Bridal, what they would do, like to even further prove my point, what they would do in between um, try-ons, because you go there to try things on, you know what I mean? I know a lot of places have their like um, dressing rooms clothes, but obviously if you're going wedding dress shopping, the whole point you're there is to try things on. And so what they do to make sure that things were clean, they would steam the dresses in between each shoes to make sure that they were clean. So I hope that that encourages you guys because I could not recommend it enough. It's a lifesaver. And I'm someone who's just like, sometimes I'm lazy when it comes to ironing stuff. And I'm just like, I'll just walk out with wrinkles. And then I'll iron it and be like, wow, I'm so, or I'll steam it. And then I'll realize, wow, I'm so glad I didn't walk out like that. So super helpful cannot recommend a hand steamer enough and you can find them at places like marshall's and tj maxx and home goods for little to nothing like 20 dollars. so that is a great 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 thing that i purchased this year um next up is a tech bag or camera bag if you're somebody who's a photographer if you're an influencer if you are a student in college i cannot recommend enough um this book bag i got it last christmas um my internship last year they bought it for me they were so sweet and they got it for me and i've used and abused this thing it has amazing pockets it has a camera spot for your camera and your lenses it has a place for your laptop of your sd cards and your hard drives and all that good stuff i've used this so much i cannot recommend it enough and i will make sure it's down below linked um the next thing is a photo album and this is something that my mom recommended i put on here but she's so right in that if you never print your photos you will never look at them again and so that's something that i really want to be more diligent about is like printing photos and hanging them up and putting them on the wall and having them in albums especially with me getting married and i just got engaged and so these are all special moments that i want documented and to see constantly and so i recommend photo albums i know that this is one i cannot recommend the name i cannot remember the name right now but i'll go ahead and put a picture of it it, um, right here there's one that I know um, a lot of people really love because it lays super flat and you can have like big pictures without like the creases in the middle um, and so I, I'm gonna recommend that one to you guys but definitely just like print your photos find a way to get a photo album and look at your photos and make sure they don't go to waste but that is it for my what I want for Christmas slash gift ideas video I hope this helps you guys when making your wish list and figuring out what you're going to buy either yourself or your friends and your family I know I'm really excited about all of these things and any of the things that I recommend to you guys because I genuinely love them and I think they're super cool and I think you guys will love them too but yeah thank you guys so much for watching let's get pumped for Christmas if you guys have any Christmas videos or Christmas themed videos that you would like to see go ahead and comment them down below because I'm ready to get into the season and I'm ready to make a bunch of Christmas videos as I enjoy the holiday season this year because I think 2020 needs some Christmas spirit. So thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Have a great week and I will see you guys next time. Bye!